Hello class, welcome to my presentation on communication as uh, the project manager. My name is Sarah Henderson and this is for PM 692. So when we are considering communication specifically as a project manager, there are several key techniques which we've kind of touched on in other presentations. Keeping an open conversation, encouraging engagement and feedback, and making sure that you're listening to your project team and you know, really respecting their opinions. Different methods we can use, um, keeping in mind what you're trying to communicate and what type of communication is necessary. So if we're talking about project timeline updates, budget updates, we might need to have a meeting. If we're, you know, talking about smaller updates or task updates, that might be an email. Or if we need um, task clarification or project personal issue, you know, updates or conversations that might need to be a one on one conversation. And then a little bit more about communication as a project manager. Um, I just loved this quote from one of our articles that we read. When we communicate, we are trying to establish establish commonness with someone that is we're trying to share information, an idea or an attitude among the team involved in that particular project. I just really liked that definition. And then I really also enjoyed this figure over here, um, the five W's and the one H on um, how to communicate. So it just kind of goes over all the details of what you're trying to communicate and how you should do so. Communication do's and don'ts. So when we're considering communication with the project team specifically, do ensure that you have clear expectations for your team. They know what they need to get done, when they need to get it done, and how. Do not assume anything. Do not assume that they know what they're, not that they know what they're doing, but they know what their expectations are. Do not assume that even though they didn't meet this deadline, they're going to meet the next one. Make sure that your communication is constant. Um, with stakeholders, do keep communication regular, clear, and complete, you know, concise to the point. Do not provide unnecessary information. Communication plan. This is major for our deliverables, right? So the major components are going to be the company mission and vision. Um, that's basically going to say how this project is going to apply to your company. Um, communication matrix. This is going to include, you know, it's going to have a list of all the stakeholders and the communication details. How you're going to communicate, what, how often, um, what format you're going to use, email, meeting, etc. And then lastly, the communication report types. So this is going to list all the report types, you know, the updates, the deliverables, um, status reports, anything that you might need to communicate throughout the, the project. It's going to list the reports, how you communicate, and who you communicate those to. This provides the team with a detailed, concrete plan for all communication methods. It saves time and money, makes life easier, makes you profitable, and it just makes sense. And these are my references. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week.